G'day everyone and welcome back to episode 58. Hope you enjoyed your long weekend. Hope you had a very good Easter to uh, you and your families. But let's just jump straight back into this video. So this area that I'm building here is a part of my adjustments to the area as I really started to just go a little crazy on how I was going to fit the uh, Wild West area into wrapping around the outside of these buildings. So I needed I couldn't do what was actually in the park as I explained in the um, last video. I really needed something that was probably maybe one tile deep at most two. So I really couldn't have anything that was too crazy as the Wild West area pretty much builds straight onto the back of this. And I, I know from certain angles in the park you can still see inside of the uh, villains area but I've tried to really cut that out so the only thing you should realistically see will be the doomsday destroyer but that's um that's a given so i wanted to incorporate something more of um harley quinn and the joker where their areas were separate i know that the statues that are there are obviously incorporating them as a couple but i thought that it'd be cool to have just a little different area for joker and harley quinn so when i first started designing this i thought you know what would be really cool is um as the doors to the, um, what, what have they got in there at the moment? The, I think they've got all the DC stuff in there at the moment. You access it through the Wild West area. So I thought, well, it'd be cool if they moved that door to where you accessed it through the villains area. So you didn't have to go all the way into Wild West and then access it. So initially I thought, well, it'd be really cool to have Joker's face as a, just a huge door. So. Um, that was my initial thinking for this so you'll see halfway through this video where I, I went away took some time and really thought about like what I would want to see in the park so um, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos of um, people walking through the park and not that they were underwhelmed by what was there but more of just that there's there's not much in this area it's pretty much just the villain statues that they have obviously the doomsday destroyers there but yeah, so I, I wanted to incorporate something that was in homage to what they have in the parks, having our own little sort of statue area, but obviously not accessing that, that room. That um, I'm still unsure whether I'm going to build that warehouse that's behind all this. I might just have it as an empty shell, but um, yeah, it's, it's still in the air. So that was designed just to fit in that little area. I wanted it to be, obviously I've been playing the Arkham games at the moment, so um, Arkham Asylum was a big inspiration for that so this is when I pretty much came back and my brain was just going crazy for um, when I watched the Suicide Squad, the um, um, David Ayer one, not the newest one and the scene where Harley Quinn and the Joker when he falls into the vat I was like wow I should use that vat because it's it's I am still trying to use every piece in this park even the stuff that I haven't used and this was something that I just didn't see ending up anywhere so I thought well it'd be really cool to have like a vat that would spray guests with water pretty much the same as Killer Croc but then also if it incorporated a area where actors could pretty much play around and stuff like that so um, I wanted to have a walkway where maybe Joker and Harley Quinn would come out and fight or something like that and um, someone could actually fall into this pit or like yeah I don't know what what else they might do but it, it'd save like just a little bit of space with what I needed and it wasn't too high for what I wanted to do around the back part of this so you'll start to see now in the background of this video that I have the wall there running along so that is the outside wall of the park so everything in wild west has to fit inside of that wall from now on so um, I, I realized that's what i was really missing was pretty much boundaries so when we did the what's next video i laid all that out with dirt and obviously um changed it around a lot since then as you can see how much um, things have changed since that moment but um yeah so i, I really needed that guide now to, to kind of show us that hey this is this is getting really serious now as I knew it would around this part as it's getting really tight in this area so it was hard to build that out as big as I did 
as you can see here even now I'm, I was struggling with trying to find it because I really wanted to incorporate these containers and what I really needed was just um, just a flat side of that instead of having the whole container itself so that it was perceived as containers but it isn't really the whole wall but uh, I think I may do with, with what looks really nice so I'll find a way to incorporate them into the Wild West area. Um, this, this is probably something that might change in future this part of the park as it, it will depend on how the next couple of episodes go so this is 58 now so 59 should be um, the little Lex Luthor area that should just be a quick video and then episode 60 will obviously be the walkthrough of the park for everyone to watch and then from 60 onwards we'll be making our way as quick as we can down to the Wild West Falls which will probably take a lot of episodes but um, the way I plan this series is it's it should finish pretty much around a hundred um, yeah that's that's oh, oh, that's just my estimates it, it seems like a lot of work in front of it but probably not even that like it's we're probably looking at maybe one or two buildings per episode for the Wild West and it's they're not hard buildings I'd say I say that now remember this moment someone write this part down but um yeah no this this was it was pretty easy to build i wanted it to incorporate obviously the ace chemicals itself i wish i had a bit more signage that i could have used i wanted it to be dripping like this so it looks like something's constantly leaking out of it and um, dripping it was hard to light at night i've noticed a lot of these parts were hard to not um to light up at night so um I needed something that was going to fit in this area but then also not fit in this area <laughs> so it had to be different enough for, for my likings so I hope you've enjoyed what I made there I've I really tried hard I, I initially didn't want to have a railing going along and I thought it cluttered it too much where the actors would act and stuff like that but I really thought that the, the actor that plays the Joker in the real movie world park he would really love to just walk along there and interact with guests get as close as he can to them and probably hang over the railing where the guests would interact with that screen and he would fall into the pit would be would be pretty funny for the park to do but yeah it's uh um i hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've had a great weekend as i said all the best to you and your families I hope you are all in enjoying this little break that we all get i'm back to work now so this will um Yeah, no, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you've had um, fun watching and sticking around.